Oh, you know it. By my mind, this is going to be a fucking experience for sure. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, pee. Oh, man. But yeah, you should let him know. Um, our homeboy in the uh, in the Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll let him know. Yup, catch and stream. What's up, Ian? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be... Here's Matt. What's up, everybody? Back from my road trip. Yeah. So we, we are going to be... Well, I am going to be doing the King Cobra JFS spicy boneless pork deep fried pork rib challenge ribs ribs ah you know i guess it's a, it's a midwest thing right? yeah yeah so apparently in the midwest uh they have a thing <coughs> where they call um pork shoulder uh pork boneless pork ribs so um yeah random guy i actually need to send you a message on discord because uh just had a discussion with jeff so yeah um let me do that while but, I mean, there's not enough people here to, I mean, I'll let everybody who's here know. Um, this is a one-time thing only, and, and as more people come in, I'll, I'll be sure to, like, say it again. But this is literally the only time I will ever do this. Ever. Because, like, I don't normally do this, but there were some travel expenses in getting back from Wyoming. So, today only, if Jeff can match the original donation of $150, and it can be cumulative, it doesn't have to be one person... But if Jeff can match the, the donations, I will also uh, take part in uh, uh, in tasting the uh, the boneless deep fried barbecue dank whatever you call them ribs. That's so. most definitely what's up. Yeah. Uh, you turned your tab, yes. right? Okay, yeah. cool. I'm gonna yeah, pull yeah. it over here. Um, what's going on, Red Royals? So I need to first and foremost start prepping my ingredients. Right. Um, there's a couple of things that we have to do to make this recipe proper. Also, um, and just to, as an aside, uh, I will be inebriated in a way I don't get inebriated oh, I forgot here about in a that. minute. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah um, but I, bef while I'm working with knives and raw meat, um, I am not going to do that. So I'm going to do my cutting of the pork first and the mixing, cause I have to hand mix some of the, the spices, uh, that Cobra otherwise has. So, um, let's see. I'll go over here because I got my cutting board down here. Um, and like, I kind of got a good, I got a pretty good look on the size of the ribs that he makes. Yeah. Um, so it should be a pretty simple process. Audio is okay. You guys can hear us okay and everything. Like, oh, yeah, we're, thank you for checking. Yeah, yeah, we're we're uh we're doing uh we're doing the stream a little bit differently than normal, so we got to make sure that all the equipment is good to go. Yeah. You don't need to match the donation, but it's greatly appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we don't e bag, right? Yeah, we're not e beggars here. We are producing content. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a business exchange. Okay. That's right. That is, it's a business exchange. <laughs> Audio coming in nicely, Tubes. Nice. Thanks. Fuck yeah. That's most definitely what's up. Uh, grab this. This. It's a business transaction, troll. That's right. Hope you marinate them in liquid smoke. No, that's not on the menu. Um, we gotta we gotta follow the Cobes recipe to a T. Right, we are we are trying to do this as exactly like he did it as well. There are a couple of deviations here and there. We don't have blue crane cheese. We have what's the product? Fuck man, I could have gone over to Albertsons and got you some blue crane cheese. It's just Winco. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, it's just yeah, not yeah, from yeah. the it's not from the the blue crane deli or the dairy. <laughs> right, right, right. Um. Okay. I guess I don't really need this. Over. So, Devil and, Devil and Egg said uh, they sent you a uh, wing nut on your Discord. Did they? Yep. Uh, excellent. Always looking for wing nuts. All right. So, <clears throat> what we have is two, two of these, two big chunks of pork. So, we have to slice these more or less kind of in the size of the ribs that he made. And I'm just going to kind of go diagonal. He might have been he might have been out of liquid smoke, random guy. You never know. He probably used it all. That's about the right size, don't you think? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's what yeah. we made. Yeah, right. I mean, uh, I, I think his were a little bit bigger, like because they were still on the stove. Some of there was some leftovers when I was in the uh, when I was in the Cobra layer. We'll, oh yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll we'll talk about all that here in a bit. Yep, we're gonna have to talk about your experiences in the Cobra layer. Yeah. First, you got to get them prepped up. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see. We'll do this one here. So for everybody who uh, has just joined since we started. Um, I did say as a one-time offer that if uh, Jeff can match the original donation of $150 during the stream, that I will partake in uh, in trying the uh, the Cobra ribs. I it's, think they're going to be good, dude. It's the only time I'm ever doing it, so like this is your guys' one chance to see how fucking grossed out I'm going to be by this. Cue the Eminem music. All right, yeah. so these are Derlushi's uh, pieces of pork. All right, so that's pretty good. That's what gloves on when I. I can't believe he got said. seven videos out of those ribs too, because like when I got there, Fuck it. I, I don't. I I think that like when I got there, he hadn't even posted the first video yet, but they they were already done the first night because I got there Thursday, I think. They were already sitting on the counter, so like it took him days to post all of that stuff. And it was already done before like he ever even started posting. And it's funny because the video that I made for him, he didn't post it until like two days after we actually filmed it and I put it on his computer. So the, it was a full arc. The seminal swamp seasoning. The swamp swamp moly. The yeah, <laughs> uh, is a really basic rub. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. MSG. This is expensive to buy MSG, and a little bit of sugar. Uh, so Nildnos too. Yeah, I I went to Casper, Wyoming, and uh, I got to meet Cobes. We're gonna talk about it here in a little bit. Yeah. Um, are you gonna show off your? Uh, I will in a sec. Yeah. Once I once I have to when we start to actually cook these, I'm gonna have to turn into Cobes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show off the the amazing gift that you got me. That that. You and Cobes gave me, or rather, I bought. Yeah, I mean, you you bought it. I just went there to get it, basically. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. We'll look at that in just a sec. Right, a little bit of onion. Do do do. Random guy, I sent you. Uh, I sent you a couple DMs on Discord, so um, you know, just check those whenever you get a chance. It doesn't matter. All right. A metamorphosis into Cobes. Yep. That's right. That's most definitely what's up. Ozzy214, I like your screen name. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, brother. Yeah, so I would rather turn into Cobes and do a food challenge than, like, some of the other people who have ended up doing food challenges throughout the years. You ever heard of Shoe Nice? No. Oh, my God. Shoe Nice was a huge, huge, huge name in early YouTube, and the dude's popularity started uh, failing. And so he started doing progressively worse and worse, like, will shoe nice eat it kind of things, where he was, like, eating things that were inedible and fucking dangerous, and it landed him in the fucking hospital, like, a few times. It was really fucked up. What's up, Somber? Let's Cucumber? Cooking, good Glad looking. to have you. All right, let's get some sugar, and then our... Basic rub should be done. Erdania, what's going on? Good to see you, buddy. Right. On a rub like this, you don't really need a lot of... You just a dash of MSG and a little bit of sugar. Mostly, you just want that pepper, that salt, that garlic, a, a little shanty, bit of the onion. A shanty meal would be dangerous. Oh, God. Shanty's, Shanty's fucking recipes are... Really, really legendarily fucking bad. Like worse than Cobes? Kinda. Oh man. I didn't know there was worse than Cobes. Well the thing the whole thing about Cobes is like most of the recipes are just like utilizing uh deep frying cheese, Doritos. Oh god, Doritos is like a food group for Cobes. Yeah, 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 for sure. And like I I, I for the most part I usually don't think it's that bad. It's when it does stuff like the the pink salmon ramen. Oh, that was bad. Dude, that I was tried bad. To show, I think this is gonna be good. So um, I drove back from uh, Salt Lake City yesterday with a friend, and um, she's 
uh, never heard of Coke's because Yummy. she's, you know, or maybe a regular... not. Also, hi, D. I can't hear the stream live. If you plug in, if you hook up your Yummy, Bluetooth speaker... Yummy, or maybe not, also, hi. Oh, okay. I, wor I worry if I plug in the Bluetooth speaker that it's actually gonna, like, fuck up the microphone, but we can uh, try it, actually. Fuck it. Whatever. Let's try this. We're gonna... We're, audio might mess up for a minute. We're gonna try something here, so... All right, so uh, is our audio coming through still okay? Because if so, then that means... Did it connect already? Yeah, it's connected. Yeah, it's connected. That's just so we can hear the alerts yeah. better. Can... Audio is okay, cool. Did uh, it sound like the audio changed at all? Like, can you hear me better here? Or number two over here? Um, let's see... We got our barbecue, cayenne hot sauce got that. Oh, yeah, hot sauce that. got that. Still phone mic. Good, that's good. That's what we want. Okay, the only other thing that I have to make is basically eight ounces of cayenne ketchup. Ugh. Sound is louder. Mm. I'm going to open the screen. Open the and this a times. Both sound good. Awesome, that's what we want. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need eight ounces of cayenne ketchup. Gotta find my fucking cayenne here. Got it. The, the thing is, too, one of the things that I love about Cobes is he utilizes, like, anything he possibly can. So, you know, like, the recipe for these ribs mm -hmm. um, uses, like, the sauce cups from... The wing place in Casper, and that's going to be a little hard for me to replicate. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have told me. Well, I didn't even think I, this wasn't even a thing until yesterday. Oh yeah, 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 and I was already out of Casper by then. And like the entire reason why I took the challenge and was willing to do this for 150 bucks is so I can get that my motorcycle endorsement. You know, so for my other job. That and some asshole ran their car off the road and needed towed out. That's true. That's true. Okay, we need about eight ounces of this. This is about 32. So that's a fourth? Uh, yeah, I was going to say about a quarter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is a lot of ketchup to be putting into yeah, is. a fucking oh. drizzle. Oh, my God. What are you doing? It is what it is, Tubes. It's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you are saying. Alright. <clears throat> Let's mix this up. Yeah. Mmm, yeah. Squeeze the ketchup. That's right. Doing some, uh, some ASMR. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Yeah. Got a microwave it 75 times. So we checked, uh, and like, I don't think we're going to be using the microwave on this recipe. We're, we're going we're to go a little, it's a little bit different. We'll, we'll make the sauce in pots. Uh, I'll go ahead and start preheating the oven, though. Yeah. I think it, so it's hilarious for those of you who have been, who are like in on this since the beginning on the Discord, like, yeah, the, the subreddit, the, the King Cobra JFS subreddit has been trying really hard to figure out who filmed that video. And uh, Oh, the, the Cobra, Cobra, the Cobra Cribs, walkthrough, yeah. Cobra Cribs walkthrough sort of video? That, yeah. My favorite is... It was him. They've got a... It was me. It was absolutely me. Um, they've got a clip where, like, I walk by in the mirror very ever so slightly, and they're, like, overanalyzing that shit. And most people are like, I think it's Clint. It looks like Clint. It's too tall to be anybody else. But then other people are like... Those arms are too tiny to be Clint. That guy, Clint would break that guy in half. Which is, it's funny. I'm not, a, I'm not a small dude, but like my arms are definitely not as big as Clint's. Clint's, Clint's jacked. He's yoked. Well, dude. and what's hilarious, I haven't seen Josh with the shirt off lately. Mm -hmm. But like anytime, Josh is pretty built too. Josh is fucking built. Yeah. Like I mean, he looks like he's probably let himself go recently. But yeah. I don't think it would take much for him to get into. Oh, he could pick it right back up. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Get a, get a little squirrely. You go ahead and start. Yeah, Tell okay. your story about right, how you right, got right. Cobra. So, 
we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um, Josh is or uh, Josh Jeff is gonna do his thing for a bit. Um, I'll kind of explain what happened here. So um, I've been doing some traveling around, and I was fairly close to Wyoming, and I was like Jeff, you know we know that Josh gets DoorDash all the time, all the time, like every day. Uh, and I'm a DoorDash driver. Uh, that's like one of the gigs that I do. So I was like, man, I, you know, like, here's an idea. I don't really know that I would do it for myself, but like I could go to Casper and just start DoorDashing until like, you know, see if I get, you know, I run into him, fucking get a delivery. And he was like, no, you should absolutely do that. And I'm like, okay, man, if you want me to, I'll go do it. Like I, I was so ready to come home last week. I was just like, I was fucking beat but I, I had talked to him about this. I had thrown that idea out there and I was like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll do this if you want me to do it. Um, and so, uh, uh, so I get into Casper and I'm, I'm door dashing there and I think it took like less than a day and uh, some fan sent him Burger King and uh, I get to his door and like I had a pretty good idea of like the, the kind of area that he lived in and I mean like, you know, it said Josh on the door dash thing and so like, I knock on the door and he opens it and like I was just instantly struck I was like oh holy shit it's him and I was like hey man and for those of you uh who who watch his videos he did a shout out the other day to cousin Matt with a orange soda drink combo I knew like I, I knew ahead of time I was like I need to have some supplies with me like if I end up meeting him so I had a pint of Jack Daniels and I had you know a soda that I purchased in Colorado and a couple other things. And I would like, I asked him, I was like, Hey man, do you want to have a drink with me? Instantly. He was like, yeah, absolutely. And he just like, he didn't invite me in or anything. He just walked away from the door with it wide open. And I was like, just super accepting. Yeah. Nice yeah. Just like 100% come on in, man. And I was like, I was like, all right. And I went in there and I was so like, it was so, it was the most surreal experience I've had in a long time. Cause I'm like, holy shit, I'm inside the apartment and you're there and you're like, it's just some normal little rinky dink apartment. But like, it has been seen so much and it's like, it's like there's one view of it, you know, everywhere. And so while I was there and I had a drink with them and everything, I asked him, I was like, Hey man, my cousin would die for one of your wands, dude. Like, is there any way I could get one? He's like, well, I normally sell them for like 48 bucks. I was like, I'll bring you cash, man. Not a problem. Yeah. And uh, so basically I just, I hung out in Casper uh, for a few days, you know, while he was, while he, while he was making the wand. And um, I, I, while I was there, he showed me his uh, music recording setup because uh, um, video and music production is something that, you know, I, I'm not, like full time or anything, but it's definitely something that I'm passionate about. And I was like, yeah, dude, like, let me see how you record music. He has his guitar amplifier underneath his iMac and he uses the microphone on his iMac to pick up the sound of the amplifier and his vocals. Doesn't have any kind of guitar interface at all. And um, so I had some, some cheap shitty, you know, like secondhand equipment that I had with me. And I was like, dude, you can like, I'll give you this stuff if it'll, if it'll, if it will, increase your production value for your music dude you can have it yeah that's pretty nice of you yeah but like i realized because i went through and i set it all up for him and everything mm -hmm. i don't think he's ever going to use it i you don't think so i don't think he knows how and uh, we like, should we should yeah i tried to show him but like yeah. he was completely disinterested uh, like he didn't care at all he was, he was he was very appreciative that i was giving him stuff oh but, yeah like as far as as far as like like worrying about how it worked or any of that, like, nah, that was, that was besides the point. And what I really learned about Cobes, cause I hung out with him a couple times. I went by there a few times. I gave him the cash. Um, I, I had the idea for the, for the walkthrough video and we filmed that and everything. And then I had to edit it. Um, cause I, I had to edit, uh, Jeff's name out of it. And we were quite, we were quite, I wanted you home before like, yeah, yeah. Like we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't want the trolls was, like, yeah. you know, going, going ape shit or anything like that. So, um, which they will anyway, but right, whatever, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's the internet. But uh, um, but what I what I realized the most about him is that like he does exactly what he wants to do, like he's living the life that he wants and he's fucking cool with it. And like I had a real sense of like I I, I developed a new appreciation for Josh because like 
for real, 100%, I thought it was an act. Not like 100%, but there was a part of me that was like, this guy could be hardcore trolling his audience. You know, like, there's still a degree of like, maybe this is... Just super authentic. Is but like, when I met him, no, dude, he is 100%, that's who he is. The way that he talks in his videos is how he talks in person. I gave him a ride. So he, that, that, uh, that dank uh, rib combo that you are making, yeah, yeah. none of that shit would have been done if uh, I didn't go to, or like I, I showed up because he gave me his phone number and he's like, yeah, I'm getting a new phone in the mail and then I'm going to do my, my dank rib combo and stuff. And uh, he told me that he was getting his phone, which day, and I called him and it didn't, I, it didn't answer at all. So I went by there and he's like, yeah, they won't deliver it. I got to go down to the, uh, to the FedEx store to pick up my phone. Mm -hmm. My dad's not going to be here until, until Tuesday. I was like, dude, do you need a ride? Like, I'll give you a ride, man. He's like, yeah, absolutely. So Cobes and I actually drove through Casper to go get his phone. Like he was in, he was in my car with me. Um, That's cool, dude. Yeah. And so he got his new phone and he was able to, to start making videos again. <laughs> And and out of that, now we're making this dank rib. Why up, oh, man! So uh, this is the wand that uh, Cobes made for me. I got a really cool little letter with it. It was pretty badass, pretty ba. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna wear my vest, but it's actually. Yeah, dude, you need a, you need like a big long trench coat. Like, yeah, and that was the other thing too. Like he. He made sure, because, like, I, I asked him while we were there, I was like, hey, can we can we video call Jeff? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Um, and he had just gotten out of bed and stuff. Before he would video call Jeff, he made sure to put on all of his regalia, all of his collars, all of his rings, his jacket, his hat. It's his, it's his, it's his regalia. It's his persona. Office, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, he, he had to be authentic with his persona. He was like, this guy wants King Cobra. He's got to get King Cobra. And That's it was so fucking cool. It was badass. I'm not going to lie. Like... <laughs> And, um, and yeah, I told him while I was there, I was like, man, let me, uh, let me film a walkthrough of your apartment. Dude, it was literally just an idea off the top of my head, but I was like, I bet your fans would go crazy for it. Like I see people on the subreddit talking about like not seeing the inside of your apartment and stuff. How was the food? Oh God. Um, okay. So I didn't eat any of his food. No, no, no. I, I like, it's fine. He made me a drink combo while I was there. I didn't even realize it. The second time that I went over there, um, the bottle of Jack was still like mostly there. And he was like, you want to, you want a drink, man? And I was like, yeah, I'll do a shot with you. And he hands me this shot of Jack and it's got like bubbles in it. And I didn't even really think cause I was, I was trying to set up the music equipment and everything. And he hands it to me and he's like, yeah, that's uh, Jack and monster. And so he made me a drink combo while I was there and I fucking drank it. And he's it was so, fine. He's so thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it, it was just so out of left field, too, because, like, he asked me if I wanted a drink. I didn't even think it was going to be a drink combo. I didn't. I was just like, oh, shot of Jack. Cool. <laughs> but, uh, it was, it was great. It was crazy. Yeah, this is, it's pretty, this is some pretty wild shit. All right. So, the recipe, uh, preheat to 350, tinfoil baking tray are, Preheat uh, to 350, low and slow. Low and slow. Low and slow. That's what's up. Low That's and slow. That's what's up. Uh, and then we're gonna have to stab the rib, stab the pork, and okay. First, we got our 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 Seminole Swamp seasoning, or swamp, swamp moly. Right. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit on the tray. Right. Cause you season the tray, not the. Well, he he rubbed it into the top too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. But he uses a lot of this in like everything, so I gotta be kind of sparing. Uh, then we got to stab the pork. <laughs> That's what's up. We gotta punish it. Punish and it. it. And then lay them on the tray and then spice rub the top. I'm surprised Cobes isn't into marinating yet. That would be an interesting video. Uh, cooking videos. Cobra's, Cobra's marinating tips, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So while you guys are on the subject of other wool cows, I will say that uh, um, while we were driving through town in the car, um, I was talking to him and I was telling him that too. I was like, dude, you are authentic. And I think that that's what people really like about you. Yeah. And um, I mentioned uh, Wings of Redemption talking about his video and he was like, ah, fuck that fat piece of shit. <laughs> 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 it was so fucking funny the way that he said it, too. I was like, yeah, man, absolutely fuck that fat piece of shit. <laughs> what does he have against wings? 
I mean, oh, Wings did a reaction video to one of his cooking videos. Did he really? Oh yeah, dude, fuck Wings. Really yeah, no, and like Wings was trying to, he was like, I don't have anything against him, but man, this is fucking disgusting. And like just completely shitting on him the whole That's time. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. See, the thing is, how can you shit on a recipe if you ain't tried it? You know what right. I mean? No, absolutely. I think this one's actually gonna be pretty good. I've had one of his drink combos uh, on stream. And yeah, it was like watermelon... Watermelon bang and uh, Budweiser, right? Uh, yeah, and Bud Light. Bud Light. Yeah. It was actually not bad. Yeah. I don't like Bud Light, but it actually made Bud Light less bad. Jeff actually got to tell Cobes that he liked that drink combo. I it was did. pretty great. I did. That was fun. Alright. We're stabbing pork, everybody. Stabbing pork. Uh, I did a lot of that in college. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Yeah, when I went to college, uh, first time I was 16, second time I was like 31. Very different fucking experiences, that's for fucking sure. That was weird. Both times totally uncomfortable, both times on the opposite end of like the spectrum of when you're actually supposed to be in college. Weird. Alright, we got two more and then we gotta do top rub. I'll need your help with this one. Okay. We can always make more of our Seminole seasoning. Right. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else in my phone about the trip that like I haven't shared yet because like I've, most of the pictures I, I posted the the picture of uh, Sean playing my guitar on the subreddit and uh, oh yeah and I think you posted the picture of the selfie that I took of me and Cobes the last day oh, there actually this one's not I don't have any pork juice on this club so right we're spicing up. Our boneless ribs. Okay, so one thing that I do want to share with everybody, I share, I showed Jeff, but like, I completely lost it when I saw this. So there is a poster in his, on his wall, and I don't know how well you guys can see it on the phone, um, but it's Ozzy Osbourne holding Cobes playing guitar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, like, it was amazing. It was so good. <laughs> like, I, I was like, holy crap, that's fantastic. Okay. So, we gotta go to... Oh, yeah, that's my ingredients. Uh, then we throw it in, and we gotta make the sauce. This is the part that I'm not excited about. I'm just gonna be flat out fucking honest with you on this. Not excited about this. It... I, mm. uh, so I've, n I've never made like the, the, uh, the deep frying aspect of it. Yeah. Um, but I've baked ribs before, or baked, baked ribs, baked lots of pork before. So low and slow, we'll low see how long slow. that takes. Uh, God damn it. Can you tell how excited I am right now? <laughs> um, the first day that I was there when I met him, um, Cause like I, I, you know, I gave him some stuff and, uh, he was like, here, man, as I was leaving, he was like, I want you to have this. And he pulled this out, uh, from a box and he only had two. I'm more, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is like the, the, the demo version of his new album that hasn't released yet. Uh, that's so cool. And, um, I was like, oh man, that's, that's so cool. And he even signed the inside of it to me. And so we're going to try, we're going to see, because Jeff only has one tape deck here in the house and we're not even sure if it works. Um, but if we can get the cassette player to, to, to work, we might listen to some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. listen to some of Cobes' new album on yeah. stream. And then um, I, uh, I went to a, a store in Wyoming and uh, I found this. And it says, I found him on Casper Mountain, and I thought it was great. I, I thought it, was, like, it, it matched the situation and what was going on. So what I'm going to do, if, if one person decides to donate that to like match the donation for me to eat this stuff, I have another one of these, and like I'm totally down to send it to you. So. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, he cooks it bef a little most of the way before he adds the sauce. Holy shit, man. That... I got right on top of me. I know. I, it was hilarious that it was. Oh, did you did you smoke already? Yeah. Oh ah, yeah. I wanted ah. I wanted to get into the same the, the, the authentic same... headspace, right? Yeah. The coach oh. headspace. I uh I haven't I haven't done anything like this in like 
six months or something. It's not something that I do. Uh, random guy, the, the reason that he re releases on cassette um, is because he has a record deal with Deathbed Tapes, and that's Deathbed Tapes format, I guess. That's my that's my assumption, because that's the name of the company, Deathbed Tapes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so I, I wonder, like, I kind of wonder, I haven't looked into it at all, but I'm like, I wonder if he does it because it's a gig, you know, or like a, 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 a um, not a gig, a, um... See, now I'm fucking... Now you're stoned. I've, well, I've been stoned, but... Uh. One stick of butter. To make this easier to stir, this is the only time I'm going to use a microwave. Uh, I hate microwaving butter, too, because, like, it'll start to pop. It'll congeal. Shit. It'll congeal and coagulate. Yeah, it's not great. A gimmick. Yes, thank you. Sorry. All right. So we're going to have to move these up here. I have a hot stove. So I think a bit is what I was looking for, but same difference. The sauce consists of one full stick of butter, three giant tablespoons of Dean's, uh, about a fourth of a bottle of honey barbecue sauce, um, more of that spice, cayenne hot sauce, habanero hot sauce, the cayenne ke ketchup, a dab of super hot sauce, Bud Light Platinum, and whiskey. Ugh. Oh, and then more Bud Light. That's the part that's going to be the most fun. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, Dean's. Dean's and my hot sauce. Got some habanero. Got the basic cayenne. And I've got the super stuff. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is the insanity hot sauce. Perfect. Okay. And Dean's. Boom. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm really not. I'm like 200% fucking confused about what's even going on right now. <laughs> Dude, we're just standing here talking to people as far as I know. Yeah, man. Just having ourselves an experience. Uh, two big tablespoons of... This is what's up. Dean's yes, Dean's is in sour cream onion dip. Like, French yes. onion with yes. bacon. That's absolutely. right. That's absolutely... Most definitely not what's up. I don't know, man. Might be good. It might be the grossest thing we've ever eaten. I, I don't know. No, because you had that ramen. Yeah, the ramen's pretty bad. Um... Yeah. Okie dokie. Two giant tablespoons. I'm not going to use actual measuring anything for measuring stuff uh, because that's not what's up. Um, let's see. Let's get a. Let's get a little bit of a. Does he measure stuff? I've never seen him measure anything. No. 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 Okay. Let's. Ugh. Damn it. Hang on. Ugh. Don't mind me. Just a little stoned. Dude, that's we all. Get, we could get a shit ton more viewers if I posted that selfie of me in the subreddit and like oh, a, a link to the uh, to the Twitch stream. So the Deans, it's three, and I mean giant fucking scoops of this stuff. <laughs> Next time on Epic Meal Time Cobes Edition. Oh boy. Um, a fourth of a bottle of sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce. He had Kraft uh, barbecue sauce, and they obviously sell Kraft here, but I couldn't fucking find any of their barbecue sauce. It's yeah. weird. So, God. Damn it. All right, well, whatever. You'll just have to trust me. Okay, barbecue sauce complete. Oh boy. Uh, more of our Seminole. Get a little bit of this. Burp, 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 burp. Gotta do it like Emerald Lagasse. Bam! <laughs> okay, pulling me back again. Oh, we make this. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a close up in, in the pan real quick. Real quick. Yeah, go for it. Um, Seminole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 
First we need our cayenne. Then we need our habanero. Oh wait, here, let's open it like this. Mm, burp, 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 burp. Then we've got our insanity sauce. Just oh, a dash will do ya. <laughs> little dab will do ya. Little dab will do ya. Ugh. Then we've got the entirety of our cayenne ketchup. Ugh. You don't even know what's good. Um, oh man, the smell is so great. Oh, okay. All right, now. Sit down for a second. So, uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little out of it. So, one sec. Oh, shit. Yeah, need a little bit of whiskey. So, I do remember, I do remember him in the video saying one shot for me and three for the sauce, right? So don't you have to do a shot, Jeff? I am not doing a shot. Uh, I am not getting crunk. I'm already... I'm already <laughs> he doesn't want to be crossfaded. Yeah, so... Some whiskey. This is much better than Jack Daniels. <laughs> what we did troll. <laughs> so I couldn't find big cans of Bud Light Platinum. I found a six-pack, and no, I was not willing to go that far. All right, so first we add some Bud Light to it. <laughs> Fuck it. Hang on. <laughs> Alright. Then he talks a little bit uh, about the microwave, and then he adds more Bud Light. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. I hope this turns out better looking than the... Oh. Oh, no. oh my god. Here I gotta oh, I gotta show no. the inside again. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. So I'm heating it up. I'm oh gonna... it smells so terrible. Does too. it really? Oh it don't smell great. <sighs> it does smell like some pretty wicked barbecue sauce, but that is mm, But the, the alcohol smell mixed with like that and the ketchup smell? Ugh. Yeah, this is gonna make a mess out of my fucking stove too. I just uh, cleaned it. But then again, here's my it. stove. It's a little greasy, but I'm gonna clean it up later. <laughs> well, I mean, like I, I I cleaned it before we started, but now it's just gonna get fucking way messier again. So whatever. Okay. Ugh. So anyway, that was the, the, we're gonna, the sauce. We're bottles. gonna heat up the sauce before we deal with the uh, the ribs. So we got a little bit of time to just chill. Hey, yes. Hey, what was that? Jeff. Thank you for harming yourself for our amusement. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy the waterfall. <laughs> I, I certainly will. I certainly will. Uh, uh, what kind of whiskey was it? Um, it's uh, Woodenville Bourbon. Um, it is Memory's favorite whiskey. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Mr. Braindead once said, Mem survived the great Bogwam ramen disaster of 2022. She can weather the Colonel Bogwam sauce incident of 2023. Yeah, we good. We good. Um, and I think I'm going to have to do deep frying in this sucker. Scumbag, I said it can be cumulative. Like, if, if other people want to throw in, you know, like, it would probably make me throw up. I have a super weak stomach. He does. He's like the opposite of Ian. Ian is a garbage gut. And he can eat anything. Matt Matt has a princess tummy. <laughs> I should cast Circle of Protection on your uh, on your stomach. You know what? So I want to talk about Circle of Protection. Why? Um, so I told Cobes uh, that I was heading back to Eugene uh, the last day, and he was like, "Yeah, man, uh, Circle of Protection of your on your journey." And uh, when I was almost to Salt Lake City. I did a circle on the freeway and slid into the ditch. <laughs> so I think it was because of Cove's circle of protection. Otherwise, it would have been pasted. Oh, that's true. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but no, works. I mean, it was, like, it, it was a really scary thing. Like, I was on the freeway um, and coming through Park City, Utah, which is, like, where Sundance is and all of that, and it was snowing really bad, and all of the a-holes there are just, like, flying by in yeah, three lanes. Yes! Jeff, you poor bastard. I think I get paid early tomorrow so I can surrender this $5.34 for your pain. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, um, 
uh, a guy in the center lane, and I was in the left lane, kept sliding closer to me. So I tried to get over to get out of the way, and I got in too deep of snow, and my car slid around, did a 180, and ended up in the uh, in the ditch. But I was facing the opposite direction as like freeway traffic is just racing by. Um, I did get really, really lucky. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Um, I was able to get a tow truck to the state police stopped and they waited for a tow truck to come and made sure that nobody hit me or anything like that. And then <clears throat> the tow truck pulled me out and literally just put How's me How's your bag reflex, Jeff? <laughs> no, and no, I'm not being dirty. <laughs> you can be dirty too. That's totally fine. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Uh, no, nope. I, I usually I don't have much of a gag reflex, honestly. Tomo clearly, like, clearly, Some. uh, uh, Cobes has black dark magic because he casted a, a circle of protection and I didn't die. I made it here, so it, that's that is proof that Cobes magic works. Yeah, dude, one hundred percent. This are actually coming along pretty quick. This, however, is taking fucking forever. Oh. My, my, my buddy Andy is in the chat. What's going on, man? How's it going? We were just like he he knew about the Cobes saga because like uh, I was hanging out with him before I went to I went to Wyoming. But uh, what's up, man? Who oh boy? All right. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt Cobes warlock powers for sure. I mean, yeah, he. Uh, we 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 know one hundred percent now that Cobes is responsible for me staying staying alive. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what's up. That's most definitely what's up. Oh my god, so am I. Yeah. Jeff's a little stoned, you guys. A little bit. I was just like zoning out watching the rain through the back window and like the dogs doing the same thing and like She was growling at it earlier. Oh, I don't know, maybe the rain was talking shit. Maybe. Uh Fuck that rain <laughs> fucking pissing me off! That's right. <laughs> Social media doesn't give a do shit. Do you want some Bud Light? I do not want some Bud Light. Have a sip of Bud Light. Let's see, there we go. Mm. There you go. See? God, I hate beer. No, nah, man, we're channeling Cobes. That's like, right. That's right. Beer. We're getting in our 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 Cobes mindset. Mm hmm. Gotta do it. Oh, man. I should have swapped these. Mm. Actually, I'll just put this somewhere else for right now. Uh, not on the pan that had pork on it. Food, <laughs> food poisoning coming in nicely, tubes. Yeah, I guess so. I'm all meat stuff, so. That's cool. Alright, we good. So the other thing that was kind of weird, though, is like... So the second part, once the ribs are mostly done, we flip the ribs... Pour the sauce and then continue baking. Uh, and then later, after after they're done, you're supposed to drizzle with another sauce, which is made of barbecue, butter, uh, Bud Light, of course, uh, and the hot sauce and some soy sauce. So this is all just to like bake it in. And I understand why he's filled it now, because, like, this is a lot, dude. This is, like, a shit ton of sauce. Yeah. I feel like I wasted a shit ton of, of like, food, because I'm not going to use most of this sauce. It's just not going to fucking fit. And it's, you know, that's, that's what's up. How long do those have to cook for? Mm, give them, like, four more minutes, and they'll be about 75% done. And then deep fry the rest of them. No, no, no. Then we pull them out. We coat them. Then we throw them back in for about five, six minutes or so to finish off. Ah, okay. I'm gonna make sure they're they're I thoroughly. So cooked. because I was because I was in Wyoming and like dealing with Cobes while the whole uh, rib saga came out, I haven't watched it yet. Like I've been, I was dealing with like in person Cobes stuff, so I have no idea. But like I saw the end result sitting on his counter when I came into his apartment. <sighs> Jesus. I mean, it is what it is. So, like, when does the, the deep frying come into play? Once they're totally done, then I've got to make an egg wash. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Give it to Penny. Give it to Penny. No, I'm not giving her this sauce. Um, so, he, it's eggs, milk, and spices in his egg wash. Flour, nacho cheese, Doritos, and spices in the coating. Fucking Doritos and everything, man. Yeah, man. So I have to clean all this shit off. 
but yeah, I can like, do that this while, we're, is... while we're waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I'm, I'll keep these, put them right there. Yeah, yeah. So like a drip thing. I'm just gonna rinse this out because I'll probably use this as the egg wash. I'm just gonna set spices and shit over here. And this is literally just butter, you know? Yeah. We don't, do we need more Deans? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh wait, 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 do we? Shit. Um... Sauce is uh, congealing and coagulating nicely, Tubes. Actually, no, I don't think he puts any Deans on the second one. Good. I think. If somebody wants to double check on that, feel free, but I don't think he puts Deans in the drizzle sauce. Dude, like, this smells like the hideous stuff we tried to cook as kids when, like, we were mixing nasty bottles of wine in with, like, the crock pot and stuff. Like, I'm not as stoned as Cobes. Fuck, fuck you, then. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, you want to see stone, Dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get more stone. Hey, Andy, do you have a uh, uh, a date for when you're headed back yet? Oh boy. You don't actually have to mention it here. I was just curious. So, uh, the other thing that's interesting about today, today is my wife's birthday. Yeah! Um, so... It was funny, because I was on the road, and I'm like, oh yeah, Wednesday is my cousin's birthday, and then I stayed the night here last night, and it, when I woke up, it, I didn't even, like, put together that it was Wednesday. And I'm like, oh, remember, you look really nice today. She's like, yeah, it's my birthday. And I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot! You remembered, but then you forgot. Yeah. You 9 11 <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the, pit, the piggy wiggy a little bit more. Uh, you know, honestly, I think these are about, are about three quarter of the way. Yeah, dude, I, even if they aren't, like, with deep frying them, it's not gonna hurt if they aren't. Well, it's still. <laughs> still. Uh, give me my tongs. Sounds good, man. Drive safe. Andy, I will let you know, like, when I was in the northern part of the state and the southern part of the next state, um, that was about the only spot that I hit where it was pretty bad. Bring it close up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, roads aren't great, so just be careful, man. Oh, yes. down to where, yeah, just, like, just so you can show them, like, okay, we're out, of here. out here. You know what? Here, hang on. I'm just going to show it. I'll just lift it up. Yep. See it? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Alright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Turn this down, I think. Yeah, that was the last one. Alright. Um, set that there. We'll need them later. We need... We are not going to pour from our pot. <laughs> we, we will ladle. Take this shit. Shoot this over. That's good. We will ladle the snoss. <laughs> Looking delicious, tubes. Man. <clears throat> we will ladle our sauce. Upon thine piggy. I also heated up the sauce because I didn't want it to be too cold and thus cool down the core temperature of these before putting them in the oven. I really don't know about the sauce. It might actually bake really, really well for all I fucking know. But, uh, it's just a... It's pretty, pretty thin. Like, it's pretty liquidy. Well, that's not gonna matter. Because, like, we, when we take these out, we got to let them cool down. Maybe we'll try and play as tape while we're letting them cool down a little bit. Um, and then uh, you kind of let them get a little bit more room temperature before you deep fry them. So, back into the oven they go. That's what's up. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Just throwing you around. Uh, cool. Woo, 
boy. I am fucking loopy. I did make sure to wear my uh, Star Trek shirt today because I wanted to say, um, Eject the Core will be back later this year, um, for sure. So that's what's yeah. up. Um, Milk and Suffering, what's up? We've got we've got some stuff going on right now. Um, Milk and like, Suffering paid for this whole thing. Oh, Milk and Suffering. Well, we should let I should let you know. I've told everybody before. If we double the donation today, oh god, <laughs> uh, like I and this is the only time that this is ever on the table. Uh, I'm willing to to endure in the suffering with Jeff, and also uh, I have this. Uh, I found him in Casper, Wyoming sticker that I got while I was there. Uh, that will go out to if it's multiple donations, it'll go to the biggest donator. Uh, if one person donates, we'll send it off to that one person. You are quite the capitalist. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright, so unfortunately the rest of the sauce is just wasted. Kind of sad. I guess I can dump it on my floor, but... Griffin, I said the last time, I said $600 and I would eat it. Uh, this time, I have lowered my, uh, my donation level by quite a bit. Alright, and we'll just make the next, uh... Poor Jeff. Drizzle sauce. We'll yeah, make the next yeah, yeah, drizzle yeah, yeah. sauce uh, later. Okay, so we gotta get ourselves prepared. Um, we will need a pot for deep frying it. Waka waka. We'll put it here. Um, we're gonna have to set up where our ribs are gonna be, which is right, yaw. And then we'll have our crust and our egg wash. Fuck yeah. Okay. I am not completely dysfunctional yet. I mean, you're pretty close. I'm pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty close. Alright. My last three eggs. He uses three eggs, so it's, we're good. <laughs> That's gradually being worn down to be cheap. We're like Jeff. That's right. Uh... As I am, you someday will be. <laughs> As you are, I once was. Watch and learn, young Padawan. Um, Jeff can function? Not high enough. <laughs> hey. I mean, we are cooking here, so like, there's got to be a little bit of functioning. Uh, damn, I feel really bad that I don't have the loot crane. <laughs> Eggs, milk, and some of the spices. Slow job, still job. You're not wrong. Uh, technically, the truth. Of our fake Seminole seasoning analog. Mm. It's milk. Okay. Throws. How's my whippy? Eh, it's fine. I'll use that. I was just I'll using it all the salt. Yeah, rinse it. And then some milk. Not like it'll matter. All of this shit's getting mixed together. I know. But we're trying to follow the recipe. <laughs> we're trying to follow the menu. That was a good movie, by the way. That was a good movie. I I only caught like the last scene, and I heard uh, Red Letter Media talk about it. But like the last part that I caught, like both Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor Joy. That's her name, right? Yeah. Fantastic performances. Of course, yeah. Well, Anya Taylor Joy is just. She's great. She's really, she's a really great actress, and uh, um, I think she looks a little bit like an alien in her eyes. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit far apart and really big. She might be from another planet. Uh, and then I need my coating flour, nacho cheese, Dorito, and spices. This is where our shit gets exciting. Uh, fuck, I need another bowl. Let's do a nice big wide one. Boom. Your definition of exciting and mine might be a little bit different, man. He puts well. Well, well maybe. Alright. Flour. I've got so much flour, I don't give a fuck. I am a baker. Because he gets like a big crust on this stuff. Big, big, big crust. Oh right, yeah. His uh, his his one key ingredient in every fucking cooking video that he ever does. God, this is fucking trucking. <laughs> smell, smell it, smell it, smell. It. 
I know, isn't it? It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, it definitely smells better than it did while we were first making it. Yeah. That's what I was saying, like, some of those sauces, like, marinade sauces, smell fucking awful. Yeah. For, like, something you just want to eat. Right. But, you fucking cook meat in it, and, like, it's pretty fucking great. Let's save some of these for later. <laughs> also, I wanted to put it in a plastic bag so you could get the visual experience, you know? Let's put the air out. Right. There we go. Some more ASMR. Hard. <laughs> there you go. All right, sweet. These could definitely be. Do you want to try crushing them? I'm good. No. All right. Yeah. I'm all about experiences, man. I'm a sensualist. I don't know. That's why you're the you're the more in front of the camera talent. I'm just the guy willing to drive across the country to do stupid shit. Nah, it's because I'm a narcissistic whore. Uh -huh. Little from column A, little from column B. Where one is directly responsible for the other. That's true. That's probably more accurate. That's for sure. All right. <clears throat> what do you think? More? Absolutely. More? Oh okay. right. yeah. That's definitely not enough. No, no. I meant more Doritos. Oh. Uh. God damn it. Really? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, dude. Alright. Yeah, I guess we're doing the whole bag. I mean, isn't that what Cobes would do? If he had a whole bag, yeah. I guess so. So, I have some concerns, though. When I was looking at the Cobra video, the ribs, uh, before he deep fried them, they look a lot more burnt than mine are looking right now. That's okay. You sure? Yeah, in fact, I don't think we need to cook them anymore. They're not, they're not done. Right. But you mean more than just like... I, I don't think that they need to be, like, like we should take them out and we, like, even if we cook them less than he does, like, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, Alright. I think that'll be better for us. I mean, unless it has to be super authentic, like, it has to be to a T and we've got to have, like... I mean, <sighs> freaking jerky ribs. It's his recipe. So, uh, we need to put some spice in that. And then I'm looking for what else I have to use the spice. Uh, he doesn't even use the, the spice in the drizzling sauce. So this is the last drizzling sauce, or last of the seminal. The fuck me, I can't fucking talk. Jesus. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Error, error, Jesus. error, oh, error, man. I know. Oh man. I need those. Oh, I do want to show the, uh, the other sticker that I got. That, uh, I went to, I went to a, uh, um, like a little oh, souvenir it's, store. It's deep fried anyway, my hands are clean. I, I went to a souvenir store in, uh, uh, in Casper and went and looked at all their stickers, looking for ones that were specifically, like, would be relatable to the trip. And the other one that I got... Yeah. I'm just mixing. Stoned and mixing. <clears throat> this is getting a little weird. Okay, it's actually actually kind of interesting because the texture of it is kind of like pebbles in sand. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. It's kind of a cool hand feeling. I don't want to stop. That that was the other uh, other sticker that I got. Shit went down in Wyoming. It's most definitely what's up. Um, whose recipe is this? King Cobra JFS. <laughs> I kind of told Matt that I needed a babysitter for this one. Yeah, that's that that's what uh, that's what I'm here for today, Red Royal. That and to talk about the Cobra story. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody doesn't actually smoke weed. Uh, okay. And since I'm kind of a professional in that department, uh... Oh, and smoking weed? Yeah. Yeah, you sure are. You smoke it so good. 
Gotta be good at something, right? God I'm just, damn it. Just doing me every day, troll. So I intentionally wore a, I intentionally wore a white shirt. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing my apron, right? Right. Because I always wear my apron, but like I wore the white shirt for like, if anything gets like absolutely insane, <laughs> there'll be markings of it, and I just got Bud Light on it. Nice. Fuck, man. It already looks so bad. Uh, low and slow is still low and slow. Griffin Doggo, he's not slurred enough because he he refuses to get like in the true Cobes headspace by by getting drunk and stoned, which Ugh. is probably good because like. He's having a hard time functioning as it is. Like we don't, we don't need him to be like, literally fucking falling all over his kitchen. Like no, like some people. My tiny, tiny kitchen. Yeah. No, I uh, also I uh, needed to do this early enough so that I can sober, sober up, up to because be yeah. I also am making um, pot pies, really delicious pot pies for memory's birthday. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and that'll actually take like thinking things, brains. Right. Right. Head things. That's right. It's gonna take your mind, your brain, and your head. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, dude. I I'm I'm sorry, man. I'm very 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 excited uh, for fuck. What were we talking about? <laughs> no wait, wait wait hang on fuck. Memories pot pie dinner. No that wasn't it. Oh, oh fucker. Um. Shit. What yeah. were we watching on stream yesterday? We watched a bunch of codes. We watched somebody else. Gail. We were watching Gail. Oh, yeah? Gail's new villain is Lizzo. Lizzo's been a villain for a while. Like, like a month or something? Month Longer than that. Really? I'm pretty sure, because, like, the last time that I watched a Gail video with you, she was talking about how Lizzo was, like, trying to get her and Brent divorced or something like that. Oh, that's right. She has had a... Th she's yeah. had it out for Lizzo for a while. Yeah. I'm not really sure why she is just not down with Lizzo. I like Lizzo. I don't know. She just can't get on board. Maybe she hates the flute. Well, I like Lizzo's music. I watched the, the, the Hot Ones with her on it, and she was fabulous, but, like, not humble at all. Pot pie, that sounds good, actually. I actually do know how to cook really, really well. I learned how to cook in New Orleans um, through three different chefs. Uh, granted, I was cooking more short-order stuff myself, but, like, what's it's cool. What's kind of terrible is that, so it's, like, it's, like, about 10.30 here, and I haven't eaten yet today. Uh-huh. And, like, I'm sitting here getting hungry, and we're making this, and I'm, like, I really don't want to be hungry enough to, like... Be willing to try this. I haven't eaten anything today, and I'm stoned. Oh man! Oh yeah! This is gonna be fantastic for you, then. Oh, I know, I know. I'd I be think... like, you know what? This is really good, actually. Uh, yeah, those need to come out. Yeah, I think so. Too. Otherwise, they are gonna be burned like his. All right, this is what we're left with. It does look quite a bit different. His was like seared into the pan, um, but yeah, this is what we're gonna go with. We're gonna let these cool off for about five minutes or so. Uh, that'll give me enough time to, to wash the tongs. Although, no, I'm gonna wash the tongs. Oh, they fell on the floor. I'm gonna wash the tongs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to remember what I what I, what I used it for and like, if I had to actually clean it clean, you know? Hope everybody's day is going well. Toby Silverson said, I have a feeling Jeff's gonna spend the wife's birthday on the loo. Oh, we'll see. I've eaten far worse. Like, gas station hot dogs don't even, like, fuck up my tummy like they fuck up most people's. I'll still get the gnarly farts, but not, like, you know, I don't get the shits or whatever. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with something, too. I just got done being like, actually, I was trained how to cook in New Orleans. <laughs> uh -huh. I've never deep fried anything. Oh, man. Yeah. I've assisted other people in doing it, but, like, I myself have never done it. So. Well, let's not start a grease fire. Hopefully. We have a, a fire, fire extinguisher right awesome. there. I see. Yep. There it is. I always have a fire extinguisher. Always, 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 always. Mm, that's pretty good. We can turn them while they're frying. So I don't have to like submerge them. Okay. 
A lot of Earl. Anybody in the chat ever do some uh, deep frying? And if so... Can you help us and tell uh, us what the fuck to do? Well, like, how, how hot did you get your oil? Like, that's what I'm kind of curious about. <laughs> Spent half the day at the shop waiting for parts that didn't come until tomorrow. Oh, that's fantastic. <coughs> I fried shit. No, I can't help anyone. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, but I think, uh, I think we're actually in pretty good shape. I might even kind of... Well, we don't want to towel dry these because we want... We want the sauce that they're cooked in to also maintain inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because, like, these got to cool down. Well, actually, they're not that bad. I'll give them another, like, three minutes or so, and I think I can probably do it with my hands. See, like, the way that they are now, I wouldn't even mind, like, trying them as is. But, like... Do you want to? No. Let's take a nibble. Okay. Okay. Cut a little piece off. Better get on, on the camera for this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. So well, put it down. Right. So let's take this little one. Okay. Oh shit! It totally fucking took well. That's no, alright. All right. It's not bad. Yeah. Let no. me try. The sauce has an interesting kind of twang to it. I know that's probably the wrong word, but um, twang. Mm -hmm. Yep, fully cooked. We good on that? Yeah. I'll right, check after I give you a piece. Yeah, <laughs> it's alright. That's not that bad. Yeah. We'll see what happens after we deep fry them right, in nacho right. cheese, though, or nacho Doritos. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was like um. That after spice is actually like I kind of I kind of like that. Oh, that's not bad. So it interfaces what the the flavor profile of it with the Bud Light. You know, Red Royals. Why you gotta point that out, huh? I mean, and like honestly, we're not done with it yet. So I mean, <laughs> I really I really wanted to I I like. It's going to be overcooked when we're done with it because it's already like to the point where it's like on the outside a little bit. It was a little bit chewy. So like that's kind of not only that, but like the way that I don't like Doritos and the way that everything looks when it's all done is always really gross. So that is cheaper than Jeff confirmed. God damn it. All right. Let's see how hot our oil is. Nope. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not oil to have to eat. Matt, you just pulled a Jeff there. No, I'm not doing shots for donations. Proceeds to do shots without donations. It is what it is, tubes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is Bud Light? Like, that's a form of Budweiser, but what is it? It's it's just like light beer. Light calorie Budweiser. Yeah. I don't even know if they Watch put out, in Jeff. You're gonna develop this dude's raccoon palate if you do enough of these shows. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about that. I'm, a little I think worried about I'm that. pretty sure that's already happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Let me check something real quick. I'm kind of curious. Um... Oh, dear. What am I looking for? What was I just gonna do? Dude, you didn't tell me. You said you're gonna go do something. <laughs> what? You were talking to yourself. Oh. Fuck! God damn it. <laughs> That's so dumb. Went into the studio. Still. Bud Light, gonna go check something. And you went and looked at your computer and said, oh. God damn it. I cannot fucking remember. Son of a bitch. Oil's starting to bubble too. It is starting. It's like a minute or two, and it'll be ready. <clears throat> Bud is gross. Bud Light is a JoJo. A joke! Ah! Okay. Let's 
Let's see. Nope. Oh God damn. Get hotter faster. Okay, it takes some time. If I was Andrew Tate, I'd be talking about 16 year olds. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, he's definitely not the only one who does that. Yeah. <clears throat> she was of age. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. I love my Cobra. Um, unironically, I've talked about it before, but like Cobra, Gale, these are people who are just so. Blanker scabs to C C C C C C C C twos. Yeah. Well. Okay. There's that too. Um. But people like Coves and people like Gale, like, they're just so wildly unique, I feel like they need to be preserved and protected and enjoyed. Like, they're just, they're they're so entertaining just being them, their genuine selves. Absolutely. Like, and, that's and, great. And what I explained, well, I now. what I explained to Josh while I was there is I was like, man, you are like the next phase of reality TV. I mean, dude is legit getting talked about by rappers on podcasts and stuff, you know? Um, the other day, one of the members of the King Cobra JFS subreddit posted um, screenshots of clips of Josh that he had posted in other subreddits. And between the three subreddits that he posted, Josh had half a million people, like, see videos with him in it. So, like, the dude is gaining serious awareness. Yeah. And um, all he has to do is be himself. I mean, I think it's pretty insane that he's been he's been doing YouTube since he was like eighteen. Um, and I asked him too. I was like, "Did you?" Because like I thought maybe he streamed. Like, oh, Saying, and I thought you were the sensible one on the internet, Jeff. Nope. Alright, we're gonna flip this one. Wow. That is quite the crusty I, hands. I turned the stove down, everybody. I turned the stove down. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Everybody's bitching about it. Not bitching, but like commenting. Just gotta make sure that we got it got it at a temperature that is actually gonna like do what needs to be done, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. Actually, that makes it worse. Oh boy. It's alright, man. We gotta get Turn that down crust. For Turn down, down for what? <laughs> We don't turn shit down in here. We just turn it up. That's looking more like it. Oh, man. That yeah, one there? Yeah. yeah. Channel the fucking spirit and magic of Cobes for some good ribs. Uh, so we put the cheese on after it's done deep frying? Yeah. What? Once they're all done and on a plate, I'm going to replace the this. We're going to pull them out. All right, we're gonna line them up. We're gonna top them with the Lou Crane cheese. 
Loop grain. And then we're throwing back in the oven to let the cheese melt, and we'll get our drizzle sauce. Oh, God. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's still going to be double the donation for me to eat this shit when it's done, just so you know. Like, such a pussy. Oh, look at that. Oh! <laughs> There's a little channel right in this fucking thing, and the oil went right in my fucking hand. Oh, fuck. Wasn't, thankfully it wasn't that fucking hot, but that, that stung a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Looks like pretty done. Red Royals, I ate some before, like... It Peanut got butter. completely bogified. Like, at least it wasn't overcooked at that point with drizzle sauce and fucking... Come on. Dorito. Yeah. I'd rather put this on a... Yeah, not on the plastic plate. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Don't want that shit to melt. Um, all right, let's get the rest of these in here. God, I do need to find something else to eat, though. Otherwise, I'm going to keep looking at those. Things. You're going to eat it. Maybe it's an option. Better not eat them deep fried ribs, boy. Mm. Hang this side. There you go. All right. This, you know, this is one of the reasons why I don't do things like deep frying, though. Oh shit! Sure is like, is like the. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Matt. Is the. Uh, the mess that you have to make when you're doing shit like battering and coating and shit. It's just, it's pretty terrible. There we go. Alright. And he's just sitting there watching this happen like, you guys, all that good food. Yeah. I can eat that for you. You don't have to destroy it. Eh, I might get like a first degree burn on that. Maybe. Maybe. Not pleasant. Not the smartest thing I've done. Smoke some more weed. You'll, you won't even feel it, man. God damn it. No. <laughs> yeah. I only smoke for pain management, bro. It's the completely oil. homeopathic. The oil splatters everywhere, too. Yeah, that, too. I'm going to have to fucking wash a bunch of shit. Whatever. Chaotic Kitten, we do this for you guys. It's for you. It's all for you. I wake up in the morning, I think of you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> One more round after this, and then uh, then we can start prepping everything else that we gotta do. Oh, hooray. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. I mean, but like, honestly, honestly, that's not that bad. If you didn't know what it was and what the ingredients were, you might think it actually looked kind of decent. I know. But the thing is, you know, like, people will tease Cobes and everything for his food recipes, but you know what? He keeps fucking doing them no matter what, and maybe he, he'll make a, like, fucking banger. Maybe this is a banger. You know? Ow. That was all oil again. I think you're the first person to review these, aren't you? This recipe in specific? Yeah. I believe so. And I'm like, cocksucker wings of redemption, I'm willing to make <laughs> the recipe rather than just be some <laughs> dick about it. That's the thing, man. You want to understand somebody? You walk a mile in their shoes. Channel their spirit. Learn their magic. Dank ribs, boy. Dank ribs, boy. Most definitely what's up. Alright. These are the last three. Chaotic Kitten, it doesn't smell terrible right now. No, honestly, it doesn't smell bad at all. I mean, I could ham it up and be like, Oh, I'm terrible! But, I mean, why lie? Fuck it. So, again, unfortunately, we're wasting a lot of food. Uh, unless you have something you want to deep fry. 
I mean, we, well, no, because the pork has already been deep fried in it. I was going to say, these Reese's cups that I was eating, I hear that those are good to deep fry. Uh, will you dump that in the trash? Absolutely. Okay. Hey, what was that? Jeff needs to check in with us tomorrow to report any drug addled deep frying injury problem. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Mickey. I will. I will. Whoa. Okay, so I believe, mm, ah, thank you, I believe that's all we're going to need as far as these types of containers and shit. So, what I got to do next is I need to replace this aluminum foil. Oh. You can just do that. Oh, I was just going to. Yeah, whatever you want. I got it. I got it. Yeah, cool. Ugh, oh shit! I fucking stop paying attention. Shit! Oh, oh, oh no! Hurt ones. Ah, they're not that bad. Yeah, they're alright. They're okay. I just kind of got high, and wandered off. I have no idea what's going on. tell Matt about how I remember what I forgot I was trying to do when I went in the other room. And oh yeah, what blah, was blah, it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm kind of curious. I wanted to pull up Streamlabs just in case somebody actually sent a dono in because we oh. wouldn't be able to read it on either screen. Okay. Oh no! Aw, oh, you broke it. I did. Broke the crust right off that one. Okay. Yeah, oh, so make off. sure to turn the stove off there. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So, next up in our magical journey of journeying magicalness. Uh, what does it say? Now we have to line them up on here and top with blue crane. But before we do that, we gotta make our uh, soap. Jesus. Spilling more oil. Did it? I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, just a tiny little bit. Whatever. That's not a big deal. So anyway, uh, we need to... Is, so the oven is still on because I think we still need to use it, but yes. the stove is off. Yeah, we still have to use it. Um, for our drizzling sauce, it's honey barbecue. We need the soy sauce from in there. Over here. Uh, in here. We need the Uh, so he throws another stick of butter in. Burning pan, burning pan. Uh, yet one more stick of butter. Fucking hell. <clears throat> yes! Oh no, are we poisoning ourselves? Oh yeah, Oh baby. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, one whole stick of butter. Nah, then we but. need more of the honey barbecue sauce. Jesus. It's me on a Sunday morning. Um, so... <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, soy sauce. The super hot sauce. And then one special ingredient, so we'll get some soy sauce in there. Cool. I'm glad somebody got that firm 2K. And our mega spicy sauce. And then the most important ingredient for our drizzling sauce, a light. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're just kind of letting the ribs uh, cool down while this heats up, and then we'll top. We'll line them up. We'll top them with the blue crane. Jesus, that oil is still fucking hot. Oh yeah, it will be for a while. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to take another, another taste right here. Scumbag, there have been no shots. No. Nor will there be. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff can only handle one kind of head change at a time. This is without the loot crane. Um, and without the drizzle sauce. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. They want descriptive words, Jeff. Okay. The pork, I know how to cook pork, uh, <laughs> is uh, very good. It's very tasty. Um, what's weird though is the crust. The crust needs um, more spice. Maybe I didn't add enough or anything. It needs, it needs more spice. But like honestly, nacho cheese, Doritos, not bad. Well, that might be what the uh, what the drizzle sauce is for, is to crust the outside. Maybe he's a fucking culinary genius. You don't know. You don't know. Who's who's DKTR scumbag? Because they made a comment. That's Ian. Oh, okay. Fuck. What's, What's up, Ian? Oh, because he said and Matt doesn't know who I am, which is honestly honestly doesn't know who I am, which is great. That's Sorry, when I realized I, I, it was probably somebody I knew in person. I fucked that up, my bad. Mm. Thank oh, wow. you very much for the soap coat. Starter food is usually super tasty. Yeah. That's because I'm hardly ever on Twitch, Ian. Huh? I said that's because I'm hardly ever on Twitch, Ian. That's true. Why is he talking shit? Oh no, he just said I didn't know who he was. Is he talking shit? Oh boy. Alright. Now that I know it's him, we can't we can't continue our conversation where we were talking shit about him. Oh damn. That's a bummer. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna put these over here. And we can toss that, please. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> so now we've got to Lay on our ribs and top of the loot crane. So... <laughs> this is pretty great, man. I'm fucking hungry, too. Yeah, yes! Yeah, yes! What was that? Uh, Minecraft subscribed for 44 months. Hey, Minecraft! Good to see ya! Alright, now comes a loot crane. Stir this thing. Oh god. If only I could fart on command. It actually really bothers me that some people can do that. Like, that's just not fair. What? That they can just fart on command. Uh oh. They have like, do you know how they do it? They suck air into their rectum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, like, developed their fucking butthole muscles for some reason. So, uh, when, when my little brother and I were uh, uh, younger, we shared a room together, and we both discovered that if we laid down on our backs and sucked air into our esophaguses, uh -huh. it would travel down into our stomach, and we could just sit there and suck, like, as oh, much air as yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we wanted. I and then, then you would stand up, and, like, two or three minutes later, you would let out, like, the loudest fucking belch. Oh, yeah. And we would be doing it at night, because we were bored and couldn't fall asleep. Yep. And we would be doing it so loud that our parents would yell from the living room, Quit burping and go to bed! <laughs> All right. This is very done. Oh, God. Oh, man. It's nice and, nice and combined, you know? It's getting nice and congealed there, Tubes. It's coagulating nicely. Coagulating nicely is right. Uh, so we can throw this back in the oven. Get some of our cheese going. Melted. Uh, this can be turned off because it's going to be hot as fuck. Do you think, how long is it going to take for that thing to cool off? Um, I, we can put it outside for now, like on the on that bench. Yeah, I think that's probably under the, the umbrella, so it doesn't. Yeah, I don't trust more. myself to do it, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna take you guys with me over here. Open that right. door so that we don't have to fuck with that. Whew. Yeah, don't spill it. Thanks, buddy. 
That's good advice. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah, we'll want to keep the dog away from it, too. Um, all right. <clears throat> Drizzle sauce is darkened up. Actually, not bad. It's out there, like, hissing from the rainwater that fell in it. Oh, is it? Cool. Yeah. Let it blow up. Fuck it. Oh, uh, it's under that umbrella now. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, let's see, clean up the fucking kitchen here just a little bit. Uh, where are we gonna eat these? Uh, probably sitting on the couch. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so now we just have to wait until the, che it's, the cheese is melted, the loot crane is melted. We still got a little ways to go. <laughs> then we drizzle with the sauce, plate and serve. And that's it. Yeah, I'll just put them on the, this plate, and we'll just move right, everything. Right, right, hey, 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 hey. Oh, calm down, calm down. I know, I got you worked up, I'm sorry. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, oh my god! Chill out, oh my god! Chill out, oh my god! Oh my god! You scamper with the dog. Aww. Penny's being super, super cute. Man. Man. <sighs> Good dog, oh, good dog, oh, good dog. Hi! Hi! She's the best dog ever. Okay. Stick your dick in the oil, man. $2,000. I'm fucking kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna fucking do that. Once it cools down. I want to put my balls into it. Dip my balls into it. I don't know if anybody re understands that reference at all. I don't know. I mean, like, I probably do, but I can't think of it right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm high. Leave me alone. I'm autistic, dude. Leave me alone. Ooh, these dried out nicely, too. Oh, man. Those are looking real dry. Real, real dry. Real dry. Those look almost exactly like what was sitting on his counter when I got there. Really? Oh, yeah. We that's... fucking did it, Reddit! Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. Really? <laughs> or Dania said, not for 2K? Aw, closes don't know window. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I like my dick too much. I don't want to hurt Okay. Yeah, I gotta be honest. These don't look that bad. These don't look that bad. I bet they're gonna be fucking hot, though. Um, will you do me a favor? Take those, and I will follow you. Where are we going? To uh, the to, to the, the, the living room. Living room, yeah. Oh, just wait, fucking, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do people see my Bill Clinton painting poster? Like, like, what the fuck's that, dude? What the fuck are these? I got it from Epstein. The one you saw in all those, uh, those photos, that was a fake. That was a fake, fake news. He sold it to me years ago. That's not bad. Let's turn it that way. This way? Yeah. I just want to get the, the plate in there, too. Yeah. I do believe we are good. What about your drizzle sauce? What about my drizzle sauce? See, that's the thing. We're going to drizzle it here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm just showing my letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to go get the other side. I know we forgot. The, I'm keeping him I'm keeping him on it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, uh, to Jeff Holiday from Cousin Matt and King Cobra, signed Josh Saunders. So fucking cool. And like he included a uh Cobra Craft One sticker too. Okay. So the most like important thing. Actually come down a little. But like ah 
Jesus, Jeff. Just burning the shit out so, of my hands over and over gonna, again. Gonna have two burn updates for tomorrow. I fucking guess so. Okay. So I want to do some experiments with it. I at least want to have two without the sauce. So let's pick two that we will have with the sauce. What are the ones that look the most like what he had at his house? That one, definitely. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, um, probably like, maybe that one on the outside. So these two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. All right. <clears throat> so we'll try these with the sauce. And then I'll, if the sauce is terrible, I'll only put it over half. But if it's good, I'll put it all over all of it. All right. Okay, drizzle, 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 drizzle. Might need to let that cool off. Cool a little, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. And while we wait, we hydrate. <laughs> That's what's up. It's also a stale crackerism. He's a TikToker. I like the TikTok. That's so I can know what all the, all the latest trends are. Nobody will make fun of me when I'm picking up my kid from baseball practice. Is that your view count right there? Hmm? Is that your view count? Beside the timer? Uh, yeah, 48. Yeah, yeah, cool. <clears throat> oh, boy. Let's see. It might be super hot. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah? I don't know about that. <laughs> so, here we go. Ugh. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> So, <clears throat> same ingredients as Cope's. I think that I made less of a mess, you know, whatever, it's cool, but like the spirit was still there. I think functionally the cook was pretty much about the same. Was there anything you can think of that where like we deviated a whole lot? No, like I said, I didn't really watch this one, like I said, because I was there in person. And oh, right, right, right. So right. like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't actually follow like, you know, exactly what was done and everything like that. So I'm coming into this a little bit blind. But I mean, it seems like from, from like I said, from seeing it in person, mm -hmm. the end product looks exactly like what was sitting on his counter when I got there. This is so interesting. So, the only thing bad about this... Ian said, except for the sauce cups from Casper. Mm. All I knew is that he said cayenne ketchup. So I made cayenne ketchup, you know. I hope it's close enough. So, the only thing bad about this is that they're kind of dry. Kind of dry. Yeah, they look really dry. The crust of it did manage to, like, maintain a bit of the moisture, but they're a little bit dry. But... Um, I need to compare the drizzle sauce to the non-drizzle sauce so I can, like, make my determination. There's a weird flavor that's completely out of place. I'm trying to figure it out. Bring me a couple of paper towels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, and I want to know if it's in the, the drizzle sauce or something else that we did earlier down the line. I need to know this because like, that's like the only thing that's really taken me out of this. I have a solution. This is a little bit burnt, but whatever. Huh. The foil with the original sauce. No. No? No. Eh, I mean like it's, in the middle it's fine, you know, if you just need to taste it. No. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay. Here. So with with the drizzle sauce, the drizzle sauce like reinvigorates it and actually like moistens the bite. It kind of brings it back. So this without the drizzle is really is even more dry. This is like dry to the point that it's not good. And also the flavor is better with the drizzle sauce, except the weird part of it is there. And I think I might know what it is. Hang on. Yep. Yeah. 
It's a soy sauce. Does oh, not need yeah. soy sauce. The soy sauce doesn't really, like, it doesn't go with any other of the ingredients. Sorry, but there hasn't been the donations yet. So I, I gotta say, like, if you take... God damn. Red, if you Red take... Royals had to, had, to, had to point out... Huh. Be smart about how you already tried it for free. Yeah, that's true. I am not... I am... I am... That's true. At this point, when I was trying the, the pink salmon ramen, I was gagging. I was dry heaving. But this is honestly kind of kind of tasty. You know what you could do? Mm. Sorry, Ardania. Ardania, you could donate. Mm. I'm just kidding, man. Don't worry about it. The, um... You don't have to donate, but it's much appreciated, Tubes. Fuck was I going to say? Son of a You were bitch. talking about how it was delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's honestly, it's not, it's really not that fucking bad. It's really not bad at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what you can do with this, actually. Okay. No, all right, you know what? Listen, uh, since we're, like, at the end, and it's already been made here and everything, and, like, I'm trying to help Jeff out, because, like, anything that you donate to get me to eat it is going directly to Jeff. It's not going to me. So, like, I'll go down from 150 to half of that. 75 bucks. <laughs> 75 bucks and I'll do it. Yeah, but th then now they know it tastes good. Well, it tastes good to me. To you? Like... It, is a, it is a very, very wild still, recipe. Like, I still don't, don't want to don't eat that. Mmm. <laughs> I like soy sauce, too, man, but, like... I think uh, because like the direction just goes one fucking way with the flavor, pro the flavor profile. Toby, cumulative. It doesn't have to be just one person. Um, Best I can do. Peace. Oh shit! Fuck! I might have to look that up. Wait, will it be on the uh, on the screen? Yeah, on the in the computer. I can't see it from here. Oh my god, I am fucking stoned. Oh, you know what you can do with this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you if you slice the the pork really really super thin, uh, and then you deep fry it kind of like this, I wouldn't put the bother with the cheese in this case because you're gonna have cheese other places. You know how they have like grilled chicken salads and shit. You kind of like have a have a similar thing where you slice it up and uh, top a salad with it. It'd be really fucking yummy. I think that was tree fitty from your Hmm. And Ian, if you need a gag guarantee, like, I'll stick my finger down my throat if that's what you need, man. Mm, no. Um, god damn. Yeah, I'm gonna eat more. Fuck, dude. Uh, this isn't bad at all. Munchies approved. Well, duh, you think this shit is edible? I, I'm, I'm a fucking cook, man. I like to eat good food, you know? So it's not like I have a shitty, a shitty palate. I have eaten like garbage before in the past, but that's because I was like um, a gutter punk and homeless and shit. Yeah, that's true. Chaotic okay, okay. You know, man, it's really just not that fucking bad. God damn it. It's really, I know you're hungry. I'm not, it's like I had enough to like deal with the actual hunger that I was dealing with but like if you're feeling really hungry smell it it smells like food really because the soy sauce is, is making me go like Wah! it doesn't taste it smells worse than it, it tastes I'm considering it Mickey mm -hmm. I'm definitely not gonna take a whole one and like munch down on it like you are but I might go get that one that one's like a happy uh, I'm not gonna eat that whole thing. Like I will, I will taste it. Like I think that's yeah. about as far as I'm gonna go. Let me go get a knife and a fork. A knife and a fork. I'm civilized, man. They're uh, ribs. They're not ribs. They're but it, that's it's the name of the recipe. Spicy, boneless, deep fried pork ribs. That came off of a shoulder. That came off of a shoulder. Ugh. Let's do it. This is for you, Tubes. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
Uh huh. Sir? I don't like the Bud Light taste. <laughs> it's a little strong. I can't even taste that. But it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever eaten. It's not bad. It's total stoner food. It's not terrible. It honestly isn't. It's edible. There is like, okay. yeah, man, they're not bad. <clears throat> There's like a really interesting. It, yo, that's what it, that's what the Bud Light is. It's the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Five out of ten. Um. You know what? Six out of ten. I'm gonna say six out of ten too. Because the thing is. There's actually quite a bit of thought put into it. There's interesting flavors for sure. Right. And also, um, before we even put like any of the uh, the cheese on, oh, before it... Halfway to bed, GGWP. Oh no! What? 35? Did you guys at least donate before I, I convinced him to just do it? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. It's a it's a business transaction, tubes. <laughs> this yeah 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 for sure. Um, use Bud Light instead of Bud, Bud Platinum. Bud Light Platinum. Let's be accurate here. Uh, oh my God, what the fuck was I gonna say, motherfucker? You were talking about how delicious it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be a solid seven if you used platinum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's what it was. When I first pulled them out, before I topped them with the loop grain cheese, and I took that one bite of just it mm -hmm. freshly out of the fryer right. and, like, crusted. You could really taste, like, the Doritos and the batter, and it was really fucking good. But that second time going in, or taking that and putting it in the oven to melt the cheese, like, took that nacho cheese flavor out of it. That's weird. You know what would go great with this? A little cup of nacho cheese. I mean, I'm good on like the amount of cheese that it has on it, but it, it probably wouldn't be bad. Good with the amount of cheese on it. That's blasphemy. You can always add more cheese. You know I have like issues with milk, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's why I'm like, nah, the nacho cheese is good for me. I'm, I'm all right on that. Mm-hmm. It's not fucking bad. My stunner level rises. Mm. I don't even know what that means. Everything tastes good with nacho cheese. <laughs> Jeff's not trying to pair Cove's dishes with sides. Honestly, I'm sitting here thinking about, like, what would go good with it. Like, maybe some mashed potatoes and asparagus. Yeah. Yeah. I have some mashed potatoes. We don't need to, like, make a whole fucking meal out of this, like... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Cooking with Cobes. <laughs> Most definitely what's up. See, now the goal is... Now the goal is... Uh, Matt's met Cobes. What? What? Okay, go ahead. You did. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and then, uh, shit. Next, next what we have to do, figure out a way. Maybe I go to Casper oh, and I fucking shit. cook with him. That would be so great. Yeah, that's fucking, what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, let's That'd do that. That'd be dope as fuck. I mean, he did give me his number. Mm -hmm. He put my number in his phone. So, like, yeah, like, I... I had a really good time with him and he seemed to have a good time with me. I was like, dude, it would be so fucking cool if like we actually became friends. He's like, yeah, man, that's what's up. Yeah. So, maybe. Where you know, nice you never know. Mm. This is the mukbang content I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to take one more bite and then I'm probably done with this. I guess so. It's not terrible. I just don't want to like, I have no desire to gourd myself on it. I wonder if my cassette tape player actually is going to work. We need to figure that out. I know. Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. we'll do, we'll, after we're done uh, fucking around with this big, big mess. It is a big mess. Yeah. Um, we'll just grab the, uh, the broadcast uh, phone and the tablet, and we'll just go outside and see if we can get it to work. Cool. Mm.
a power cord fall out of the phone too. Oh, I'll get it. Mmm. Mm. I don't want the stream to die. Mm-hmm. Mmm. You survived a full year in Georgia? Hey, look out, pup. You're in the net in the United States, Cutson? Rarely got drunk because maybe I had to meant, drive everywhere. Maybe uh, they, they meant Georgia, the country. Penny. So, come here, Penny. Penny's going to review some Cubs food, too. Come here, Penny. Oh, yeah. Come here. Penny, come here. Come on. Come here. Come. Oh, good girl. What do you think? What's the flavor profile? What's the flavor profile like? Is it good? She looks like she likes it. I think she digs it. I think this is the wholesome, the wholesome content that needs to be, uh, needs, needs to be embraced when it comes to the I Cobra. Think, I think Penny gives it an 8 out of 10. Yeah? Yes, I think so too. Good girl. Yeah. Good doggy. Well, I'm going to take another, I'm, dude, I'm hungry now. <laughs> sure. No, this is not your food. I'm sorry. I'm, this is like, I like it though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hmm. Milk and Suffering said I paid $150. I need a full anal analysis. Let's go. Mmm. 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 Alright. Let's go step by step. <clears throat> the concept of doing like boneless pork ribs when it's it's pork shoulder. Right. Which is fine. Um I think it makes it kind of interesting because it kind of turns the whole thing into basically little strip steaks. Right. Which is kind of cool. Um, it's actually reminded me a lot of like a chicken fried steak. Except, Excuse me. Except like pork and not beef. Yeah. Mm. Kind of, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the pretty basic uh, so, uh, spice uh, combo. Pretty, you know, it's fine. It's good. It's get a little bit of the MSG in there, which also honestly makes everything in case better anyway. The flavor enhancer. Uh -huh. Good old MSG. Um... The, the original sauce to cook it in is toxic smelling. Oh, it was so gross while we were, while we were making it. The smell of it was hideous. Because um, it was, it, it was um, a lot of ketchup, mm -hmm. uh, um, Bud Light, and then uh, what was the other smell that was really overpowering? It was the hot sauces. Yeah, yeah. And that, they gave it like a vinegary kind of odor. Yeah. But when it was actually cooked into the ribs... It was actually not bad yeah, at all. Yeah, it smelled fine. Like, while it was cooking in the oven, you opened the oven, and it, it didn't smell terrible. It was kind of like a, um, uh, it was like you were, a, a, like, a quick topical marinade kind of thing. It was weird. Yeah. Um. I think that what we accomplished better than Cobes did while he was making his was if you look at his sauce video, none of that shit is mixed up well enough. Yeah, do it, you gotta do it on the, on the, um, on the tabletop. On the stove. Yeah, you got to get it hot enough and, like, actually really ladle it all in there. Emulsifies like, and shit. Because, like, the stuff in his just did not, like, it was all still separated and it didn't mix up very well. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, other than that, like, I think it was pretty, pretty similar. Um, not, not, a, oh, you know what we could do? We could dip into the Deans. We got to do that. You can. Will you get me the Deans? I will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because... <laughs> That's what's up, is a big part of the uh, that sauce, that initial sauce, is the Dean's French onion with bacon. <coughs> and uh, I, I, I need to know, for, for the sake of science, what it's going to be like. All right. <clears throat> That's what's up, YouTube. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Okay. Um, Toby, I would give it at least like three hours to get through his digestive system, probably. Oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I don't what? really think that this can be like taken super accurately, though, because like people are a lot more excited about food when they're stoned than when they're not. So I'm not sure if uh, not stoned Jeff would feel the same way about this. You're a towel. Maybe. I don't know. But he looks like he's liking it. Uh, it's obscene. <laughs> this, this is 
This is obscene. Let me get those little crusty bits in there that fell off the last one. There we go. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, no, I got it. Mm -mm. That's literally just mostly sour cream. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's pretty much just dipping it in, like, bacon-flavored sour cream. Oh, my God. Mmm. I am working out new combos. What's up? <laughs> All right. Saucy. Um, should we try out the, uh, the cassette? Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Hell yes. <clears throat> Listen to the new, uh, the new Cobes album on cassette. The, the, uh the best format of any media that's ever been. Mm. <laughs> They're going to bring back cassettes any day now. Oh, Just, you wait. Just you wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, Red Letter Media is helping out with that too. You know? Yeah. Video cassettes and audio cassettes. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I could get my, my Cobes cassette fucking valued the same way that they did with Nuki. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Of these uh, control. Uh, okay. All right. This is my uh, little outdoor, little shitty couch area. Um, it might not be plugged in. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna need my hoodie at least. It's cold as fuck. Ugh. I'm gonna need to get my jacket when he comes back too, because it is cold as fuck. All right, much better. Doesn't quite do the same thing. Whatever. <clears throat> you miss Oregon rain? Yeah. It's 80 degrees in Texas today. Jesus. Um, after I said the soy sauce is weird. Um, mostly, mostly like that's the, the main thing that I think really takes me out of the uh, the flavor profile. Um. I think that's the biggest thing that I have uh, against the recipe. That and too much Bud Light in, in literally everything. So you can't really taste the Bud Light when you're eating it until the aftertaste and then you're like, did I just drink a beer? Right. Weird. What does Cobes play? What doesn't Cobes play? Well, I know he plays uh, guitar, obviously, and, but he, you said he had a banjo in his house too? He did have a banjo, yeah. That's cool. I play banjo. Me and Cope should be best friends. Mm -mm -mm. You have a friend that can collect CRT TVs. You know what I've always wanted to get? I wanted to get my hands on, like, an Apple 2GS and then a, like, uh, either a 486 or, like, a first-generation Pentium. With, like the old monitor and everything just to be able to like play some of those classic games with the actual classic feel because when you emulate them on new systems it's like mm, it's okay i can't tell if it's working or not i can't hear anything but i don't know if that's because mm -hmm. speakers are relaxed. yeah let me see like i cannot like i'm trying to look inside of it the, the tape is winding but i can't tell oh I want to say probably not on this one. Okay. Well, I tried on the other one and it didn't seem to be. That one actually makes some static noise when you hit play, though. Oh, does, does it? Is the tape moved or is it still at the, like, the... At the very beginning? It's still at the very beginning. Yeah. I don't know, man. Here, try... Let me... Try flipping it over because it looks like maybe I had it in the wrong way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm the stone one and Matt forgot that there are two sides to tapes. Plus, I was drinking it before eating it. Yeah, that's true. Best way of playing old games is to buy them good from good old games. 
to make old games work with modern systems. Nah, man, I want, like, I don't have the space for it, but I think it'd be cool to just have, like, the actual old, old computer systems. Uh, it's like, no I want to... No-go? No-go. Fuck! I don't think I have any, anything, any other stereo except that. And I literally only use that for the aux port right, right. for playing music or movies or some shit out here. Um, like I want an Apple II GS so I can play Oregon Trail. And I say that and I'll spend all this money to try and get it and I'll play it like three or four times and then fucking never touch it again. Maybe I'll not do that. Maybe I'll save up for a motorcycle. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Probably. I did see Afro Man's Can You Help Me Repair My Door. That was fucking dope, man. I have this terrible taste in my mouth. Yeah, it's from that shit you were eating. I don't think the food's to blame. I'm gonna blame the Bud Light. Okay. Good. That's empty. I never have to think of it again. Kind of like my Nintendo, I played it twice while hook since hooking up in my garage. Yeah, 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 I remember that. So we were hanging out at Ian's house. He finds his old Nintendo Entertainment System in Zelda, and we drop everything and set up his TV so he can play it as much as he wants to. And I kind of had a feeling like, uh, when I left, you were playing Punch-Out. I had a kind of feeling that like, after, after playing it a couple of times, you're just gonna forget about him. Punch-Out's where the ninja stole my bike came from, isn't it? Mm hmm Is it the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Maybe that's not it. Mike Tyson? What, what? The Nintendo game, isn't it Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the ninja stole my bike came from. Oh. It's not ninja, it's a different word, but... It's a word that I can't say. Oh. Really? Have you not seen that? No. It's like, so So Little Mac, which is the main character, is like training, and his uh, his trainer is a black dude, but like the meme is, is basically like acting like Little Mac is running after the, the his trainer, saying, and then it, in the background it's saying, it didn't just stole my back. No way. Yeah, it's a That's meme. fucked it's up. It's a meme. <laughs> Oofa. We are outside, actually. Uh, me and Memory made this uh, tin roof pergola. Um, because there was no natural shade out here. Um, but then it started raining, so we have a, an old futon, beat up futon that we keep out here. So we wrapped it in tarps, and, uh... It's no. actually a really cool little outside area. It's fucking dope. It's not bad. It's kind of a mess right now, but it's not bad. I got a screen hung up on one side so I can project movies. Mmm. They made a Majora's Mask version too? That's crazy. Bro, I am feeling wacky. <laughs> feeling a little goofy tubes. Yeah man. Feeling feeling a little feeling a little sleepy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know man. Uh the uh the the ribs would you like an old walker? No. No, I don't need a walker. This is a cigarette. This, I'm not smoking any more weed. I have three hours, no, four hours before I have to start uh, doing all the prep work for Memory's birthday dinner. So, yeah. I have to, I get, I get whatever was left after cooking in that Bud Light, however stoned I got, and that's all I get. Uh, he'll be alright. Mm-hmm. I'm so screwed. Nah. We fine. Weed doesn't last that long, does it? <laughs> I mean, Josh looked pretty fucked up for a few days after he drank that soda. Oh, the weed soda? Yeah. Dude, it'll do that to you. Yeah, man. Fucking like people, people who eat weed and, and drink weed sodas and stuff. That shit. How's the cooking going? Uh, we're done. We're done. Oh, okay. missed it. The dog looks worried at me, though. She's like, got her face in my lap here. She can hear what's going on in your digestive system. Oh, She's no. Like, oh, <laughs> I feel so bad for you when oh, you're going through. Daddy. Oh. She's being super cute. 
Baby. Yeah. Aww. Somebody's worried about me. Mwah. Good dog. You took five weeds once and your penis disappeared? <laughs> Brutal. I hear if you take even one weed, you're hooked for life. Really? That's what I hear. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Wait a minute. I was smoked <laughs> weed a lot, and I didn't... I, this is like the first time in six months. Just because it's the first time in six months doesn't mean you're not still hooked, troll. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a junkie, Penny! I'm a weed head. I'm a bong brain. Oh no. I've become a marijuana magician. I don't know. I'm trying to think of Ryan Grim, Sullivan. Grimdrow, our state sells 50 milligram edibles as like the highest. And like two of those put me comatose. And I'm a regular user. Like that's 500 milligrams is fucking insane. That's really fucking nuts. Boop, boop, boop the snoops. Boop. Whooping. Whoop. Henny Whoop. does want ribs. She wants those ribs so bad. She wants those ribs so bad. Oh, oh. If you do 50 weeds, you turn gay? Shit. Good thing I've only done 49. It's a good time to stop. Right. Unless you... I mean... No, I'll, the next one will just be 49 and a half. I'll only do half of them. I get jealous of gay guys, man. Because, <laughs> like, after you get done boning... You both are just like, yeah, let's go play video games. <laughs> that sounds rad. That sounds fucking great. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Katzen, we should play Dark Tide some more. I'm super down. I like the game a lot. Mwah. I've just been busy. End of the year, Christmas, New Year's, all that kind of shit. Things are getting back to, back to, back to normal. <laughs> stop! 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 No more licking my hands. Dark tight is epic. Yeah. Smoking day without weed. Been smoking resin as a way to taper off. Oof. Yeah. That's harsh, dude. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. I remember my days of like smoking resin because I couldn't get a bag and. Like, I would cough up the nastiest, black, gross stuff, like, at least, like, once or, or twice a year when I was still actually smoking. I'm so glad that, like, vaping is such an easy thing to do now. Yeah, yeah. Keep thinking the apron is a sling. Yeah! I just recently made my own uh, shoulder holster um, for my enormous and ridiculous 1911. And I was like, ooh, I want to show it off, I'll wear it. And then I was like, wait, I'm getting pretty goofy. I don't need to be, like, stumbling around a hot that's kitchen true. with, like, a fucking gun strapped to me and shit. I'm like, yeah, no, let's, let's, let's leave that in the safe. Oh, my God. The black sludge is out of your ears. Mm -mm. Okay. So, uh, what else do we... So, is there any other stories from when you were hanging out with uh, Cobra? Um, so, I went over there, um, Thursday night when I delivered to him, and we hung out a little bit, and, uh, um, just kind of got things established, and he, he gave me, uh, his phone number and everything, and then I went over there Friday to pay him, um, and then I went over Sunday, I mean, other than, like, you know, personal shit. I, I think that, like, the, the highlights have all kind of been gone over. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm down to answer any questions that anybody has. Yeah. Like, if, there's, if there's anything, so, like, I'll give the chat a few minutes to put any questions in. I'm actually going to run in and grab my jacket, but, like, if yeah. there's anything that anybody is wondering about my trip or anything like that, I'm totally down to, to answer questions right now. So. Open book. Open book. <sighs> my mouth tastes like fucking ass now. <laughs> Penny! That was Matt! He just went inside. No, oh, do not knock over my tripods. That's one, though, like, Cobes needs needs tripods, for sure. Make it easier for when he's, like, doing his, uh, his, his food, food hacks. Uh, Griffin wants to know, are you now best friends forever with Cobes? Fuck yeah, I am! Fuck yeah, dude. He's got my number in his phone. Yeah. They're basically uh, besties forever. 
That's right. Um, I did, for anybody who missed it, I, I did uh, uh, film a video, film that his latest video that he posted of his uh, apartment walkthrough. Yeah. That was my uh, that was my idea, and if you watch it, there's a point where uh, where he says, this one is for Jeff, and then it cuts out. It's because he's saying Jeff Holiday. Yep. I, I asked him to cut it out until, uh, at least until he was back, you know. Just because. Oh, my God. All right. So, my ass is goofy, and I feel like I need to lay down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, Jeff needs some recovery time now. I think I might need some recovery time. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, damn it, I want to get your name... Per Milk and Suffering. Thank you to Milk and Suffering for making this happen. Absolutely. Um, I ended up spending like 50 of the 150 bucks just on ingredients. I mean, but you're whatever. Still, still in the positive, though. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. That money goes straight towards uh, me getting my motorcycle endorsement, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, uh fuck you, Ian. <laughs> Matt and Coves need to find a lot lizard and become Eskimo brothers. Tip to tip, brother to brother, bone oh to my bone. God. So I heard that uh, that drunken pe peasants had uh, had Gucci's on their show. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get her contact info from them and and take her to Casper with me the next time. And... <laughs> Cobes and I can. Uh, oh my god! Can, can make Gucci's. Oh no! Can make Gucci's uh, uh, finger cuffs. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, We're having trouble. Who do we have that we can raid? Because I can't. I can't look it up myself right now. Jesus fuck! I think I can still raid. Keep goo away from Cobes. What's wrong with goo? Goo's, I mean, goo's, goo's way better than a uh, fucking gothy. Jesus. Yeah, gothy is not not great. Gothy is disgusting. I think Gucci's is a really is actually a very pretty girl. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Don't raid Shanny. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Shanny. Yeah. Are you doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, we're gonna raid Shanny. I'm just stoned enough to do it. Oh man. There we go. Fuck yeah. Shanny needs. Hey, the name of her channel is Shanny Needs Love, okay? Go give her lots go, of love. Go give her some love. Suggest that she make deep fried, boneless, spicy pork wings. Yeah, have her review one of uh, one of Cobes' cooking videos or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh my God! Maybe Shanny is the uh, is the chosen one. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Shandy, is what it is. Shandy, too. Who's the one to break the dry spell? <laughs> Fucking rock on! Shout out to Milk and Suffering. <laughs>